Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Good, teacher. And you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here with you in a, another week, another opportunity to learn. And for sure, well, more activities, a lot of exercises to do for you to continue improving. Yeah. So, most of your classmates are connecting now. So we're going to just wait for them to join uh, for us to start. I hope you had a beautiful weekend. What did you do? Some of you were telling me a little bit on the chat. But you can share here as well. How was your weekend? Uh, teacher, my weekend, it was good weekend. We visited my family. I uh, talk and spend time with them. Mm, she also went uh, out with a friend uh, oh, uh -huh. who didn't. We have seen eight, eight other for a long time. Oh. Um, yeah. I love uh, saying say, say her about, about this weekend. Oh, so that's very nice. So when you talk about you, remember that you are going to talk in first person. You are going to say, well, I did, I went, right? I spent, I visited, right? All the verbs, all the regular verbs that finish in T and in D add an extra syllable at the end. So you say visited. Okay. I visited my friend and that's so nice that you saw a friend that you didn't see in a long time that is very very beautiful I am glad that you had a very good weekend uh, it is that's pretty nice good evening teacher. hi Saul how are you yeah I'm doing great I hope oh. you're okay too I am doing great how was your well, weekend my, yeah and my weekend uh well, I spend uh, many time with my family. Uh, the 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 problem it has been very hot this day. I don't oh, know yeah. what happened. <laughs> right yeah. now, it's very hot too. It is very hot, right? Uh, I think. Well, we are just entering to Holy Week, and that is very normal, at least here in El Salvador. And I think it is going to be hotter and hotter during these days. But uh, it is curious because yesterday, I think, yeah, it, I think it was yesterday, it was raining a lot, but in Sonsonate. I don't know if you have family members there in Sonsonate. But it was raining. And, and I was like, why not in San Salvador? <laughs> why not in Chalatenango? <laughs> why not in Chalatenango? Yeah, because it is, it's very, very hot during the day. So... We, I think it's going to be... Good evening, Hi, good evening, Byron. How are you? I am good. Is it really hot near your house? Yes, it's very hot. <laughs> yeah, now <laughs> it, it is the time for you to take out all the fans and the things for you to be like <laughs> refreshing during the class. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's difficult. I, I really admire people who can sleep at night without a fan. I admire them. I don't know how they do it. Do you know what's a fan? Yes, right. Okay, so I, I really I, I do admire people who cannot sleep. Uh, who can sleep without a fan. I cannot do it. I don't know you. Do you sleep with a fan or without a fan? The fan is the, the spinning thing that refreshes the, the air. Un ventilador. Do you sleep with a fan? Yeah, yeah, in my case, yes, I use the fan. All the night. All the night. Because I can't sleep. Without it. Very, 
Yeah, with yeah. that, with that. Yeah, there are some uh, very lucky people who have an air conditioning in their houses. So that I think that's heaven for sleeping. Another thing that we can do is take a shower before, before that sleep. Yeah, exactly. Right. At least, at least while very you, fast, very fast. <laughs> while you fall asleep, you are going to be very fresh. So that's a that's a tip, right? Thanks to Saul for the tips of at night. As soon as you finish the class, you shower and then you go to sleep. You will be fresh during the whole night. Well, my dear students, it is a big, big pleasure to have all of you here starting this new week, right? This is week number two, and we are going to be working a little bit on some practices for passive voice, and we are going to start working in unit number two and three during this week. This week is for you to finish unit uh, section three on the platform and the midterm exams. So we are going to be working on that all along the week, okay? I know many of you have already finished. I was checking on the platform on your performance and many of you have already finished section three. Some of you are in section four. So that's pretty awesome because it is going to be very beneficial for you, okay? So, Teacher, yep. I am finished this section three and the meter exam. Fantastic. Uh -huh. That's really good. That's yeah. really, really good. That you take advantage, right? Take advantage of the weekend. Take advantage of the time that you have for you to complete the exercises. Okay. So this week we are going to practice a little bit more on the chat. I am going to be sending you more activities for you to do. And uh, it is going to be very, very nice. You will see. Well, so in the last class, we were finishing the platform. We were finishing with the exercises and we were practicing a little bit of passive voice. And we were doing like kind of the differences between the uh, passive voice with simple past and also the passive voice with a uh, present simple. So here we have, let me just move a little bit here on the manual. I am going to show it to you as well. And here I am showing you a series of sentences, right? Some of them are in passive voice. Some of them are in active voice. So we are going to work on them to see which one is which, okay? So here, I am going to show it to you. Let me just open my manual. There it is, okay? And I am going to share it with you. This is what we have been working during these days, right? We were working on the exercises in passive voice. We were doing the homework, right? You were working on the different types of pronunciation right? And we were talking about the monuments, the different places, and we were finishing the features about countries, right? The currencies, religious groups, industries, and agricultural products, right? The last thing that we did was the conversation, right? The conversation about the person who was asking for information about Japan, right? What was the problem with the conversation? Do you remember it? Do you remember what was the main problem in the conversation? Uh, teacher, good evening. Hi. Uh, the problem is uh, the boy gets information about a, a travel agent uh -huh. and, and he run or run a, when he called, but he called to uh, Linda's hair salon. Exactly. So he was calling the wrong number. He was calling the wrong number. He was looking for a travel agency and he ended up talking to a hair salon, right? So, and for sure, he didn't get the information that he needed because it was not the correct place. Very good. 
So in this case, we were working a little bit in the conversation with sentences also in passive, but with simple present, right? And we have exact examples like the following. Here we have, they use the gen in Japan. The gen is used in Japan, right? They speak both Spanish and Portuguese in Latin America. Both Spanish and Portuguese are spoken in Latin America. They grow a lot of coffee in Brazil. A lot of coffee is grown in Brazil, right? In this case, we focus more a little bit of what we are talking about far from uh, the normal subject in the sentence, right? And in this case, you say, they grow a lot of coffee in Brazil. And on the sentence in passive, you don't have they because you know that people are the ones who grow the coffee, right? You don't have to say a lot of coffee is grown in Brazil by people. It is not necessary because you understand the message just by reading the sentence, right? In this case, you don't say they speak both Spanish and Portuguese in Latin America. Who are the ones who speak different languages? ¿Quiénes son los que hablamos diferentes idiomas? Bilingüe, no. No, uh -huh, no, but who? The plants, the animals, the human. The, the human. human. The human, Humans. right? So in this case, Human. They, it's talking about people, right? And if in the passive form of the sentence, you say both Spanish and Portuguese are spoken in Latin America, you don't have to say by people because you know that the only ones who speak Spanish, Portuguese, French, whatever language are people, right? And here, they use the gen in Japan, right? Who uses money? Who uses the gen in the Japan? The gen is used in Japan. Aha, uh -huh. but who uses the gen in Japan? The Japanese. The Japanese people, Japanese. exactly like that. But if you say, for example, the gen is used in Japan by Japanese people, it is not necessary, right? Because you saw the gen is used in Japan. And you know that you are going to use that type of currency if you travel to Japan. So when you do this in the passive form, in simple present, in most of the cases, you don't need to use by. Contrary to the case that we were studying with simple past, that in this one, you were talking about different events, different books, different situations, right? That it's very common that you use by in the passive form. So that is one slight difference between the simple past and the simple present in passive voice, right? So here, here we have a short example. And then we are going to go to the examples that I was showing you at the beginning. Here we have different verbs. Which is the first verb that we have? Sing. Sing. What is the first verb that we have here? Sound. This Sing. verb. What is the first verb that I am showing you there? There you have it. Ah, sorry. I can see. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh, my Zoom. Ay, yo cambiando pantalla y este Zoom no se apura. There you go. Now I have it. Uh... <laughs> there you go. So, sorry for that. There you go. Zoom estaba descansando. El bien feliz dormido. Eh. So, the first verb that I have here, this is eat, right? Eat. eat. What is the past participle form of eat? Eaten. Eaten, Eaten. right? Eaten. What is the past participle form of grow? Grown. Grown. What is the past Wrong. participle of make? Made up. Made, Made up. Very Made good. Up. Manufacture. Manufactured. Manufactured with D, right? What about Manufactured. speak? Spoke. Spoken. Spoken. Yeah. Good. What about teach? Teach. Taught. 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 Right. Taught. What about this? We have both French and English. 
spoken in Canada. Are, are, spoken. are spoken. Very spoken. good. We need the verb to be, right? Depending yeah. on what we are talking Plural about. and singular. Right? Here you have are because I have French and English. Plural. Right? And what is the verb in the past participle form? Spoken. Right? Spoken. Because you are talking about okay. languages. And that is the action that you do with the languages. English. You are talking about one thing or two? One. Only one. one. So you say one. is or one. are? Is. 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 English is. 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 So. What do you do? Exactly, right? English is taught, right? In elementary school in Singapore. A great deal of wheat. Gro is grown. Is grown, right? Because in this case, wheat is uncountable. You cannot say... I have three wheats here, right? Tengo tres trigo here. You cannot do it like that. You buy it in pounds, in bags, or so it is in big uh, portions. So a great deal of wheat is grown in Russia. Both cars and computers. Are manufactured. manufactured. Are manufactured in South Korea. Mexico is, is made up. Is made up. Is made up. Is made up. What is the meaning of made up in this sentence? ¿Qué significa made up en este contexto? Está formado. Formado. Constituido. Because you're talking about countries. Exactly like that. Mexico is made up of 31 states and a federal district. Did you know that? I didn't. <laughs> Kimonos. Are you? Kimonos, plural, right? Kimonos are... Our war. Our war. <laughs> Sorry. We have use, wear, uh, so that was the, the last one. Kimonos are sometimes used. Okay, you can worn. say worn because you, you dress up with that, right? Kimonos are sometimes worn in Japan. Son vestidos, son usados, right? Worn. The bath is the currency that is used is used right you do that with the currencies is used in thailand a lot of beef is eaten is eaten right a lot of beef is eaten in argentina yes they love churrascos and they love a lot of meat right a lot of beef is eaten in argentina so here, let me just go back to my presentation. Here. I have here the different sentences. Now you can see them. I need you to tell me if the sentence is in active voice or in passive voice. We are going to analyze them. Here we have the first sentence of the list. Shreya Goshal sings beautiful songs. Is this in active, active voice or in passive voice? Active voice. It's in active, active voice. Active voice. And why do you voice. know that this is active? How because do you know? The, because the verb is in present. Very good, right? The verb is normal. The sun, the sun sets in the west. Active or passive? Active, active boys. Very good. Active. The boy was being beaten by his teacher. It's passive. passive. It's passive. 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 Passive boys. Bucky is helped by Steve. Passive, 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 passive voice. Passive. What is the next one? Can you read it? 
The carpenter is building the desk. Uh -huh. Active. 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 Active boy. Active. 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 The woodcutter cut down the tree. Active boys. Active, Active boys. Active. The man Active. dropped his axe into the river. Passive boys. Passive. Active boy. Active boy. Active. Uh -huh. Do you have active any verb to be before the verb? No, we no. don't have. All right, we don't have. It's active. Have. The bird was shot by the naughty boy. Passive. 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 This is passive. passive. Do you know what's the meaning of naughty boy? Naughty boy. No. Naughty. Naughty boy. No. For example, do know. you remember the movie Daniel El Travieso? Yeah. He yes. was a naughty boy. Um, he was very mischievous. He was like very like <laughs> he was like a, a like a little devil. A naughty boy, malcriado, right? The bag was found by me. Passive boy. Passive boys. Very good. Natasha lost the Pass. money. Passive. Active. 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 It's active, right? Oh, tiene sueño alguien en esta sala. The farmer will plug the field. Active boys. Active boys. Active. The work will be finished by the workers in a day. Active boys. Active no, boy. Active. It's active, right? Yes. What about the next one? The enemy has entered the war song. Passive, Passive boy. Passive. I no, 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 sorry. Uh -huh. active it's active voice, right? It's active. normal. It's a normal sentence. Yes. Who sang the song? Active. It's active. Active. Voice. active. And the children <clears throat> tease the animals. Active. It's active. active. Very good job. So in this case, it's just for you to analyze. You have to analyze and read. Something very, very curious about the passive voice is the verb to be and the verb in the past participle form. Right? That's something that is going to tell you that the sentence are made up in passive voice. And here I have a couple of more examples. I need you to help me to work on this one on your notebook. And here you have the verb in parentheses, right? And you have the sentences. Let me make it a little bit bigger so maybe you can check it out better. And it says the walls by the earthquake and the verb is destroyed. Our car broke down last week and it yesterday. Westminster Abbey in the 13th century. The children to bed early. The first Olympic games in Greece or first house by a big garden. Coffee into Europe in the 17th century and the new shopping center last month. I need you to complete the sentences with the verb to be in uh, the passive form and the verb in the past participial form. So in this case, all of these are in passive voice. The walls, how could you complete this sentence? Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the walls are destroyed by the earthquake. Okay, the walls are destroyed by the earthquake. What was the difference that I mentioned be, uh, between the simple past and the present uh, forms of passive? Do you remember something specific that I mentioned? No, teacher. That in most of the cases when you use the present forms are destroyed, you don't use by. 
Uh, so in this case, we have to use past because most of the earthquakes ruin last. everything when they already happened, right? So you say the walls, plural. Where? Where? Were destroyed. Destroyed by the earthquake. Exactly, right? The walls were destroyed by the earthquake. Because most of the times when earthquakes finished, they destroyed everything on their past. Or car broke down last week and it yesterday was repaired. Was repaired, right? There you go. Was repaired. What about the next one? Check on the next one. We are talking about the 13th century. Class, which type of verb do you need to use to complete this sentence? Was. Uh huh. Was what? Was built. Was built. Very good job. Was built in the 13th century. To bed early. What can you use here? Well, in this one, you have the two options. How can you complete this uh, example? The children, plural. Where uh -huh. sent. Okay. Where? Here you have the two options, right? Where sent or are sent. In this case, if you say like, no, 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 todos los niños se van a la cama temprano. Todos tienen que ser mandados a la cama temprano. If it is like an obligation, a must thing, are sent. But if you are talking about this, ah, no, the children were sent to bed early because we wanted to watch a movie. The first Olympic Games, ooh, long ago. Were held. Ha, huh. were held. Is this the correct form of the passive? Yes or no? Yes, teacher, no, teacher. The past participle of hold is held? Yes. Yes, right? You have to you have to make sure about what you're telling me. Yes, teacher, that's correct, right? Don't doubt. Sin dudar. Ustedes no tienen que dudar. Or first house ooh, by a big garden. Or first house. Was surrounded. Was surrounded. Very good, right? Was surrounded by a big garden. What about the next one? Coffee into Europe in the 17th century. Was, was introduced. introduced. Was introduced. Very good. Was introduced. Into Europe in the 17th century. The new shopping center last month was opened. Was opened last month. Right? So there you have a couple of sentences in passive forms. Thank you very much for your help completing this exercise. I have here another practice, right? And this is going to be on your own, okay? I was helping you on this one and I was guiding you on the practice, but this one is going to be on your own. So here you have the sentences and I need you to choose three, three sentences and send them to me on the chat, okay? Complete the sentences and send them to me on the chat. Choose three of them. And I help you on this one a little bit because I added the verb to be for you to know 
if it was in simple present or in simple past. Go ahead. Choose three and send them on the chat. Envíen la respuesta en el chat, ya sea de Zoom o de WhatsApp. Three sentences. Great, I can see you writing on the chat. That's so nice. Choose three. Thank you. I see many people writing on the chat. <laughs> Let's see the theme. Very good. English is spoken here. Remember the period at the end of the sentence, right? Saul. <laughs> Thank you, Saul. <laughs> you send me the period. Come on. Thank you, Saul. That's so nice. The shoes were bought, those shoes were bought on the internet. Okay, you have R, but you can, you can change it, that's okay. It's, uh, it's well made even in simple past or in simple present, that's correct. Let's see, the jumper is made of wool. Wild birds are not found in England. Our school is located near the park. Very good. I have more examples in the chat. These shoes are sold on the internet. Very good. Remember the capital letter at the beginning of the sentence and the period at the end. Okay, in the case of tea, can you make can you make tea or can you grow? Okay, and what do you do with the tea? So we need to change that one. A lot of tea is in the UK. Or you can say grown or drunk. Very good job, right? English is spoken here. A lot of tea is drunk in the UK and marathons are run by runners. Good, very good. Okay, I keep receiving the examples. These days, more emails are sent than letters. Good. The next one, marathons are run by runners. A lot of tea is drunk in the UK. Very good job. Thank you, Natalie. Excellent examples. A lot of coffee is grown in Brazil. Very good, very good. This car is designed to go very fast. Not in El Salvador because we have a lot of traffic. A lot of tea is drunk in the UK, very good.
good. I got more examples. So, excellent job, my dear class. Very nice. And this is a very nice way for you to practice, right? The simple uh, sentences in simple present and in simple past with passive voice. I am going to show you here the different forms of the sentences for you to check them with the ones that you wrote. These shoes are sold on the internet. What is another verb that you can find, that you can find, <laughs> that you can use instead of sold? Sell. Uh-huh, but no, but in this case of, of the passive uh -huh. form. Made. Made, can you make shoes on the internet? ¿Los podemos hacer en internet? No. 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 <laughs> Maybe if you make a picture of the shoe, but no. In 3D, well, in 3D, <laughs> but not on the internet. It's on the machine. So what's another thing that you can do? These shoes are? Both. Bond. Bond. Okay, you Bond. can say both found right on the internet a lot of tea is what is another thing that you can use instead of drunk what other verbs sold sold very good a lot of tea is sold in the uk what else can you use sold drunk drunk, drunk wrong serve right served the servido right served a lot of coffee is grown in brazil what other sentence can you create instead of grown drunk drunk what else give me another it's verb Exported, right? Exported, good. In Brazil, yeah, maybe along the country, right? Produced. Produced. Our school is located near the park. In this case, located is the verb that we need to use because you say near. So that tells me that you are given a location. These days, more emails are sent than letters. What can you use instead of sent? Received. 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 Very good. English is spoken here. What else can you use instead of spoken? It's taught. It's taught. What else? What are you doing? Learned. Learned. Yeah. Very good. Learned. Spoken. Learned. Listened. Right. Understood. You can use also the, those verbs. This jumper is made of wood. In this case, made of. Yes, because you are talking about the material of the jumper. This car is designed to go very fast. Did you, you have a question? Yep. What is wool? Very good question. I think I don't have an example right here, but it's lana. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's the meaning of wool. But this type of wool is the one that you get from sheep. Okay, la lana, lana verdadera, wool. The next one you have wild bears are not found in England. And the last one that is the easiest marathons are run by runners. Do I have any runner here in the classroom? No. No runners in the classroom? No? No. <laughs> Entonces ustedes son de mi team. Si me ven corriendo, corran, porque algo está pasando. <laughs> because I never run. <laughs> so, if you see me running, run, because I never run. <laughs> so, 
that I, I don't have runners here in the class, but yeah, we run for the bus for the uh, when we are late, right? When we need to do something, there we run. So my dear class, this was a, a little practice that I had for you today for a um, passive voice, right? For us to like kind of bring into the practice some sentences that we have been studying. Let's see. Do you know where is Ecuador located? Yeah. Ecuador is located in South America. Very good. Ecuador is located in South America. Do you know what languages are spoken in Singapore? No, my friend Google is going to help me. <laughs> what <laughs> languages? English and Mandarin are spoken in Singapore. Very good. English and Mandarin, right? Hey, two points for Byron. Very good. <laughs> Where is the most of the world's wheat produce? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, is the investigation. Do you know what is the biggest producer of wheat in the world? Ask Google. Pregúntenle a Google. ¿Quién es el productor más grande de trigo? In China. 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 <laughs> China. Well, they produce everything, so they must produce wheat. Ucrania, I guess. Ucrania. Okay, Oscar says Ucrania. We have China. And we need to ask Google if you don't know. How many countries can you name where English is spoken as a second language? What, lang what countries do you know that they speak English? No, Gray. No, Okay. Uh, England. England. Um, Canada. Canada. Sud Ireland. Sudan. Ireland. Germany. Germany. How do you say Sudan, teacher? Sudan. Estonia. Sudan. Estonia. I think Sudan is the same. Sudan. Estonia. Uh huh. Australia. Then, Australia, right? That they speak it as a as uh, they speak English as well, and for yeah. sure. Poland. France, Poland, right? They speak English as well. Can you name four countries where French is spoken? IT. IT, Canada. Belgium. Belgium. We have one. El Congo, right? We have one very near here. Swiss. Cameroon. It's a bit, uh, yeah, Cameroon speaks French. Yes, uh, I know. Mar Costa de Marfil. I Costa de Marfil, know. they speak French. Very good. Belize. No. Yes. No. But in it's Belize? English. No, believe it or not, they speak French and English. Bel Bel in, in Belize? And I was like, what? when I met when I met like students from Belize and they were speaking French and English and I was like ah, how comes they speak French English and their colloquial language that is a mixture between French and English it's really horrible but it's difficult to understand but I was really really admire when they mentioned that they speak French English and this other language and I say, and they are near here, near Guatemala. And the last one, right? Do you know countries that are still governed by a prime minister? Grande. Germany. Germany. France. Germany. Okay, France. French, Germany. France. The Great Britain, right? And Thailand, I think it's still. Hungary. Hungary, right? Indian. And the India. You see? Indonesia. In Indonesia, 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 right? Very good job. So that was very good, right? A lot of information. That's pretty awesome. So my dear class, this was about uh, the passive voice. We are going to talk a little bit about the seven modern wonders of the world, right? We know El Salvador almost has one of them. Do you remember which was uh, on the contest to become a modern wonder of the world in El Salvador? 
Teníamos algo ahí compitiendo here in El Salvador. Maybe the Cuatepec Lake. It was Cuatepec Lake, right? That it was there on the contest of becoming another wonder of the world because it changes the color because of the algae that it has. So here we have the Panama Canal, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Empire State Building, the GN Tower, the Netherlands, Itapu, and the Channel Tunnel in France. So here we have the different uh, readings that we are going to be working on. Right now we are going to work in four of them. The Panama Canal, the Golden Gate, the Empire State, and the, G the CN Tower, okay? I am going to call the attendance, but I am going to stop this one for you to practice and read, okay? Practice reading. You can start like reading these four um, paragraphs, and then I am going to choose four students to read them out loud, okay? If you have questions on pronunciation, tell me and I am going to help you, okay? I think you can read them very well. Yes? ¿Lo pueden leer? ¿Está bien así o lo hago un poco más grande? ¿Es okay? It's okay. Okay, good. So, I need you to practice the reading and I am going to call the attendance, okay? When you listen to your name, remember to say here or present. Let me just open my attendance. Practice the reading meanwhile. And if you have questions, let me know. And TTT, here I am. I will start with Ana Julia. Present. Thank you. Byron Rafael. Present teacher. Brian Eduardo. Carlos Fernando. Carlito Fernando. Cristina Abigail. Present. Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Daisy Tam. Eh, Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvia Sofía. Present. Emma Jamilet. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia. Giselle. Okay, let's continue here. Iris Rosario. Yes, and teacher. Thank you. Oh, Carlitos, answer on the chat. Thank you. Okay. Manuel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Marbelli Jocelyn. Present, teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Natalie. Here. Thank you. Nelson Rolando. Present. Teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica. Present teacher. René David. René Stom. Okay. Sandra Yanet. I'm here, teacher. Sara María. Present. Saúl Arnulfo. I'm here. Thank you very much. Okay, I am missing one, two, three, and that's it. Excellent. So I think you finished reading. I am going to go over the reading. I am going to ask Elvia Sofía. 
eh, Patricia Verónica, Cristina Vigail, and Nelson to help me with the four paragraphs. And here I go. I am going to share it again. There you go. Okay, the Panama Canal. Who wants to start? De mis cuatro voluntarios, ¿quién inicia? The Panama Canal. Yo, teacher. Go yeah. ahead. Okay. The Panama Canal Begun. Begun. Uh, begun, begun, begun. Begun, begun. In the 1880s. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Wasn't finished until 1944. Perdón. Nineteen uh, fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Joins the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Engineers. 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 Describe, engineers. They describe the canal as a victory. Human over geography. Workers that workers that do huge huge amounts of land and time 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 rivers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You survived, Nelson. Yeah. Very good. A, it was like nice difficult words, teacher. Difficult words, yeah, yes, but yes. It, it is it is not really complicated. You need to practice, right? You need to practice yeah, more. Okay. Remember, when you practice reading, and this is for everybody, when you practice reading, it is important to respect punctuation, right? Punctuation yes. is the most important thing to respect. And you say the Panama Canal, you stop, <laughs> begun in the 1880s wasn't finished until 1914. It joins the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Engineers describe the canal as a victory of humans over geography. Workers dug huge amounts of land and tame rivers. Right? Practice yes. more, Nelson. Yes. Very good job, yes. but you did a good yes. job. Who wants to be my second volunteer with the Empire Me. State Building? <laughs> Me. Me, you can go, Patricia. The sooner the better, you say. For 40 years after it was complete, completed in, 18, completed in 18, 19, perdón, 19, 30, 31, the Empire State Building. Building. In a, building in New York City. Was the Thales, casi no leo, teacher, así le voy okay, a decir. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Was the Thales building in the world amazing, amazing, amazingly, no? amazingly, this 100, no, you see, 102 story building was constructed. Still in just 400, uh, 400 thing days. days. <laughs> good very good <laughs> patricia very good no, no. i can see i can see okay okay good uh, uh, mañana le voy a traer una práctica de números ya vi a todos <laughs> these 40 years uh, for 40 years after it was completed in 1931, the Empire State Building in New York City was the tallest building in the world. Amazingly, this 102-story building was constructed in just 410 days, right? 102-story is like 102 pisos, okay? There you go. Who wants to be the next one of my four volunteers with the Golden Gate Bridge? De mis cuatro um, I'm going <laughs> to read it. Go ahead, Abigail. The Golden Gate Bridge, completed in 1937, was also a challenge for workers. San Francisco Bay has a very strong 
winds and road waves. The Golden Gate is still the world's tallest bridge. It has enough steel to wrap around the world three times. So, very good job. Excellent pronunciation, Abigail. Very nice reading way. The Golden Gate Bridge, yeah. completed in 1937, was also a challenge for workers. San Francisco Bay has very strong winds, right? And row waves. What is row? Row, like difíciles, fuertes. Waves are olas, right? The Golden Gate is still the world's tallest bridge. It has enough steel to wrap around the world three times. Tiene suficiente hierro como para enrollar al mundo tres veces. <laughs> so imagine all the steel that was used in the Golden Gate Bridge. And my final volunteer with the CN Tower. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. At uh, 18. No, 1,000. 8,800, 800, 800, uh, 15. Uh -huh. Yes, 15. The GN Tower in Toronto, Canada is one of the world's tallest free tallest. stadium. Tallest free stadium. Free stadium buildings uh, complete in 100. 19, 119 seven, 76, 76. Right? the tower is used for tv and radio uh, broadcasting okay very good <laughs> remember in this case the first one is 1815 right because you are talking about a number you are talking about feet right because on those 1815 pies de altura right 1815 mm -hmm. feet mm -hmm. But this one, for example, is a date. You say 1976, right? All mm, the years okay. before 2000 are divided, mm -hmm. right? Todos los años que, okay. vi, que eran antes del 2000 se dividían mm -hmm. en 1982, 1941, 1986, right? But from 2000 on, you say 2001, 2002, 2020, 2023, it's different, right? Okay. So it says. Thank you. You're welcome. At 1,815 feet, the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada, is one of the world's tallest freestanding buildings. Completed in 1976, the tower is used for TV and radio broadcasting, right? That is the meaning of this one. So here, I need a brave volunteer for the Netherlands. Sin práctica. Vamos a ver quién lo hace. Who wants to do this one? The Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is yo, yo, Geraldine. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, Elizabeth. Go, go, go. Elizabeth. Geraldine, you are going to help me with the next one. Okay. A ver. The, the Netherlands North Sea Protection Wars is another victory over geography. The Netherlands way is below sea level was often was often flooded by the North Sea and by rivers. Then between 1978, no 77. 1927. No, 1927. No, 1927. Yeah, 27, yes. And 1933, 32. <laughs> oh, another. Geo. No, it's okay. It's okay. Adam. Adam was, Adam was built to shoot, shoot up the sea. 20 years later, the dams and canals were built to control the rivers very good job thank you elizabeth for taking the challenge i can see that it's complicated but you are not afraid and that's a good thing that's very good natalie try it out which one the same the netherlands the netherlands yes 
The Netherlands North Sea Protection Works is another victory of geography. The Netherlands, which is below sea level, was often flooded by the North Sea and by rivers. Then between 1927 and 1932, a dam was built to shut, the, to shut out the sea. 20 years later, dams and canals were built to control the rivers. Okay, very good job. We're built, built and floated, right? Floated. And this one, flood, it's like when all the water enters into a place, right? Floated. And the next one, very good reading on the years. So my dear class, I need you to take one of the examples. Take one of these examples. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight examples, okay? Take one. And I need you to record the audio of this reading in the WhatsApp group, okay? Choose one. And I need you to send me the audio, reading it in the WhatsApp group, okay? Escojan uno de los, de los siete que estaban ahí parrafitos. No escojan el más chiquito, escojan el más retador. Y graben el audio y lo enviamos en el WhatsApp. Mañana en el día, no ahorita. Practíquenlo y cuando lo tengan, Lo envío mañana. Okay. Have a wonderful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another course. Okay. Tomorrow. Good bye. night. Bye bye. Bye. bye bye. See you. Bye -bye. I have a question. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing. Can you send the the picture of the, the paragraph to send the audio? Okay. Cool. Cool. I am going to do it, and uh, for sure you are going to have it. Okay. I will send it right now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.